continue to teach you something here. I want you to know something about the culture and the power of blessing. See, I, I was very upset with some people one day. Very upset. I was so upset. I, I, I didn't want to hear them. I didn't want to see them. I, I was very angry and I was very hurt. Let's just, let's just call it what it is. Anger is a secondary emotion. What I was really feeling was I was upset. I, I, was, I was feeling used. I was feeling um, like a lot of things that led to anger. So here it is. I was in my room and, you know, I was about to do my work. And always before I work, I, you know, I, I, I invite the Lord. I spend time with the Lord. And I started to feel really bad because I was, my heart just was not in the right place. Because I kept thinking about what the people had done, what the people, you know, whatever. And the Lord said, then I heard the spirit. He said, bless them. I said, what? He said, bless them. I was like, bless who? <laughs> he said, bless the ones that you're upset with. I said, which ones? All of them. I said, oh, Lord. Yeah, I know. Apostle still struggles with this, too. Guess what? I'm human. I was like, Lord, have mercy. But I said, all right. When I started to bless... A love came over me that I cannot describe. It was as though I was, as I was blessing, the hurt and anger that I felt, it was being healed. It was being mended. As I blessed them, as I said what I wanted God to do for them, as I, as I prophesied and I proclaimed the kingdom of God over their lives. And yeah, they may have hurt me or disappointed me, but I pray that they would learn, that they would have understanding, that they will receive um, peace. Because maybe the reason why they upset me and hurt me was because they were hurt themselves. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. It was as though as I was doing it, I felt the spirit of God overwhelm me. I felt it. And the thing was, as I started to bless, I started to repent for my own indiscretions. And I said, Lord, what is happening? How is this? What's happening? And this is what the Lord told me. He said, now you are taking part in my father's business. Oh, I feel the presence of God right now. He said, you are taking part in my father's business. And anytime you are working with my father and you are taking part in his business, my father will manifest. Oh, y'all ain't talking. To me. My, he said, my father will manifest in you and through you. And I said, okay. I said, but Lord, why was I... Why was I being healed? He was like, because that's the way of my father. As soon as my father started to move through you, as soon as he saw your hurt and your grief, he turned it. Come on, somebody. Who, who, here, who here is getting what I'm talking about? He turned my mourning into dancing. He turned my sorrow into joy. He turned my bitterness and anger into a love I could not describe. Who here wants that? That's what I want for all of you that is here right now. I bless you all today. And whatever is going on in your life, I bless you with the love of the Holy Spirit. I bless you with the manifestation in the power of El Shaddai. I bless you today. With joy and shalom. 
I bless you. This is something that not just I want to do for you, but I want to teach you all to do for others. You have no idea how powerful a blessing truly is. See, we go into the church and we always say, oh, God bless you. God bless you. Do you have any idea even what the heck you doing? You say, God bless you. God bless you. You say that, but ain't nobody sneezed. But do you even know what you're actually saying when you say, God bless you? God bless you with what? See, that's the part I can't stand. You say, God bless you with what? See, the Jews, the Hebrews understood they blessed you with something. They, they, they didn't just say bless you. They blessed you with something. I believe that's the culture and the church that God wants to destroy. Don't just say, God bless you. God bless you with what? Ah, I got church mice today. I bless you with wisdom. I bless you with joy. I bless you with shalom. I bless you with understanding. Oh, somebody, I ain't talking to me. There it is. Somebody put it in the chat right there. Even some people call it the ironic blessing. It's not even the ironic blessing. It's what God said I am saying. Aaron is just speaking it. Tell Aaron this is what I want him to say. But so it's not Aaron's blessing. Even God when he blesses say I bless you. With what? That word keep you means protection. Oh y'all ain't talking to me. With comfort. May the Lord bless you. With what? Are you hearing this here? Let's create a culture. In fact, that's what I want to be a habit. Where as soon as we come on here, I say, bless you with shalom. I bless you with favor. Say blessing to somebody. In fact, who's, I don't know who's even near you, but text somebody. Reach out to somebody, touch somebody, and say, I bless you today. I bless you with what? I bless you with wisdom. I bless you with shalom. Whatever the Lord places in your heart, bless them. Is everybody with me?